So in this lesson, we're going to teach our key stage three athletes the basics of sprinting. So we're going to go through a warm up that involves some key drills for teaching effective sprint mechanics. And we're going to use a fun and competitive based approach to teaching acceleration and the sprint start. And we're going to combine these two to create a basic sprint model that they can apply within a competitive environment. So the first drill in our warm up is a straight leg scissor. We want to create this nice tall posture where our head, shoulders, hips, knees and ankles are all in line. And we want to teach them to strike the ground that's going to bounce them down the track. So once we've struck the ground, our next job is to get the foot back to the front so that it can strike the ground again. Now the fastest way to do this is through a straight line. So we want to see the foot come close to the hips, over the knee, and then it's ready to strike again. So the heel to hamstring exercise teaches us to recover the heel straight to the hamstring. So when we look at sprinters, they typically block with their thigh very high. This is to create great vertical forces into the ground. So if I only pick my knee up a small amount, I can create small forces. As my knee comes higher, I can create greater forces. So we're looking to have this high knee position and to strike down from here. So now we have these three key exercises. We're going to try and incorporate these into our running technique. And to do this, we're going to use an exercise called dribbles. So we're going to use our correct posture from our straight leg scissor. We're going to have a pick up towards the hamstring through to the high knee, and we're going to strike the ground from there. So we're going to do this at a very low level. So we're only coming up to ankle height, but we're going to try and develop a rhythm as we run. So now we're into the second part of our session, which is the learning the acceleration and the sprint start. So we started the session learning the upright sprinting mechanics because we want to know where we need to be at the end of our acceleration phase. But now we're going to go back and teach the acceleration and the sprint start. And we're going to do that in a fun, competitive way for our, these students who are new to sprinting so that they can experiment and play with the movement and work out what works for them as an individual. So the best way to do that is through fun starts. We can use a variety of positions. It's competitive, but there's very little constraint. But we're going to start from a standing position where they just learn to accelerate. Then we're going to come down to lying or sitting position. So they're going to learn to go from low to high. And then we're going to introduce the fundamentals of the sprint start through the three point start and eventually look at the block start. So as we move from the fun starts into the sprint starts, we're going to use the three point start to teach about projection angles. So we often see students with their hands on the line and they have their foot right up to the line. But that means that this shin points upwards. And when we push, we're going to push upwards. What we want is for this shin to point through the angle we want to go, which is going to be about 45 degrees. So if we bring the foot back from the line, when we come up into our three point start position, we're going to see this shin angle and we can drive out in a low position. So as we come down to a sprint start position, we're aiming to create a stable base to push against and we're going to use our shin angles to project us down the track. So we should see the front leg in the same position as we had at the three point start. And to find the back leg position, we're gonna put the knee roughly in line with the front foot toe. From here, we just put our shoulders directly over our hands to create a stable base for our shoulders and relax the head, ready to run. So from our block start position, we're just going to raise our hips until they're slightly above shoulder height. That's going to give us this 90 degrees in the front knee, 
120 degrees in the back knee. But what we're looking for is that this toe is underneath or slightly behind the hip and that this shin angle points directly through the shoulder. That's going to allow me to apply my force through this straight line. And I'm going to strike back under the body with each step and try and maintain that line. So now we have all the pieces of the puzzle. We've worked on our sprint start and our acceleration. And earlier in the session, we looked at our dribbles and our top speed sprinting position. So now our last job is to put all these together and give our students an opportunity to practice the whole race pattern in a competitive scenario.